beneath the flames, a somber song in the streets of Paris. Arbitory Woodle capturing video of crowds singing as flames engulf the Notre Dame Cathedral. The country coming together as a piece of history goes up in flames. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Alexandria Hoff in for Jessica Cartaglia. We're going to check in with Tori live from Paris in just a moment. But first, the latest on the fire. <laughs> Officials are hopeful the landmark rectangular towers have been saved. They're making progress stopping the flames from spreading. They also believe, based on preliminary information, the fire was started accidentally. The fire broke out as the church was undergoing a multi-million dollar renovation. One firefighter was hurt. French President Emmanuel Macron has called for a national emergency emergency and pledges to rebuild the cathedral. With its towers, stained glass and spire, the cathedral is considered a feat of architecture as much as it is a religious symbol. Eyewitness News photographer Chris Brady took these photos during a visit there a few years ago. These images now most likely a thing of the past as we wait to see the extent of the damage from this devastating fire. And our own Victoria Woodle is in Paris on vacation right now and she's witnessed this dramatic scene play out for hours now. Victoria joins us now live from France. So Tori, what's the scene look like right now? Yuki and Alex, I have to say that the scene here in Paris is a little softer now. Uh, sounds of singing in honor of the Notre Dame can still be heard behind me. But again, as I've mentioned, the tone is softer. You'll notice that you're not seeing as much of that amber glow from the belly of the church because uh, the emergency teams have gotten a lot of it under control. Thank God you still have the face of the Notre Dame and the bell towers that they, what looks to be, have been able to salvage. But if you look right here, you still have a touch of that glow. So they are still working on it. And I'll turn this around so you can see a better vantage point of the emergency team still surrounding the building and the crowds still underneath. I really cannot express to you enough what it has been like to not only witness this historic moment, but here the honor and tribute this crowd has been paying towards it throughout the hours that this has been going on. We are now in what is about maybe the fourth hour or so of, of this event, but earlier, crowds were still singing and it doesn't seem like they are going to stop singing until this fire is put out. This is only what it looks like now, but earlier it was a quite of a different scene. Uh, take a look at some of what I had witnessed earlier on this afternoon. I cannot tell you enough how unfortunate it is to just watch these firefighters putting their lives on the line spraying that water and it's just moving away from the building because of this wind and what i think the emergency personnel had the most difficult time doing was trying to move the crowds away from the center area where it's located you'll notice how the streets have started to fill and you can hear the sirens in the area. The fire originally started right around this area here, and it's continued to move throughout the Notre Dame. It, oh my gosh, I'm like sick to my stomach right now. It was a back point that just completely collapsed now the entire roof. Jen, do you want me to notice now that while the scene has changed from earlier on, it is still that much heartbreaking because now you're looking at what remains. And I think thankfully we can still see somewhat of it standing, but you know that that belly of inside of the Notre Dame has burned. And that is what is so heartbreaking. And that is why all of these people sing. That is why they are doing that form of prayer and dedication to this building because it means so much, not only to them, but it means something to all of us. Reporting live from Paris, Victoria Woodle, CBS3, sending it back to you guys. Well, Tori, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us your poignant, eloquent perspective yeah. of this very hard day. Thank you so much for what you've done for us and for our viewers. Just after midnight there, and Tori's coverage has been yeah. incredibly 
moving yes. and informative. And our coverage doesn't end here. You can see all of Tory's reports from Paris on our website, cbsphilly.com, along with updates on the investigation as they come in.